I've opened Blender and loaded the biped rig. As you can see, it has some very simple controls on it. Here's the pelvis, there's also a bone in the middle and a, a torso on top. The bones for all of these characters are divided into a few different bone layers up here. The first one includes the basic controls. And the second one includes the IK controls for inverse kinematics. And the last one has some sliders where you can go from IK to FK. The last ones are not meant to be changed by the animator. So before you start, I recommend that you set both his legs to IK by moving these sliders right over to the right side. You can leave the arms as FK. And now you'll see when I move the torso around, you'll see the feet stay put. And if you go to the second layer and enable the IK controls, I can then uh, change the direction of the knees by using these controls here. And I can very, very easily make a kind of a crazy uh, dance with him here by just moving the torso bone because the feet are stuck to the ground. You can of course move the feet by moving the IK goals here at the end of the feet. And again, uh, change the position of the knees. I'm gonna just uh, make a pose with him here. And since we just had the Olympics, I'm gonna make kind of, kind of a, a running uh, athlete uh, sort of pose. So I'll put him a little bit uh, further into the air, put his feet back as well. And as you can see, it's, uh, he's very, very simple to move around. Uh, the advantage of having him completely segmented like this rig is that you never get any deformation problems. You never get any problem with this sort of skin looking weird or sliding around because it's just made out of rigid parts. So I'm just moving them around. And even though the hands are FK, I have auto IK enabled, which means I can sort of move the hands around as though they were IK. And this makes it much quicker like this to pose the, uh, the arms. So now we already have a kind of cool uh, running pose here. And uh, I, sometimes I like to just uh, disable the bones so that I can see the character without the distracting bones, just to see what we have. I'm just getting him look up a little bit more. And let's give him like a real kind of a cool leap. All right, that should give you a good idea of how to manipulate this rig.